we have found a new particle never seen before in Mother Nature by slamming two beams of proton at trillions of, of electron volts. If I touch it, it would explode and destroy all of New York City, parts of Connecticut and New Jersey. Prepare to be astounded because the Large Hadron Collider has once again brought to light a stunning revelation that has left scientists both exhilarated and anxious. Similar to its groundbreaking confirmation of the Higgs boson in 2012, a particle that had been a theoretical concept for more than half a century and revolutionized the field of particle physics, the LHC has now unveiled a new and alarming discovery. In this video, we will delve into the depths of this mysterious finding and explore the insights of renowned physicist Michio Kaku as he shares his perspective on this awe-inspiring yet unsettling revelation. The Large Hadron Collider, known as the LHC, has captivated the world with its remarkable discoveries and incredible capabilities. Before its existence, the scientific community grappled with uncertainty, unanswered questions and unconfirmed theories. The fundamental aspects of our universe were obscured, leaving scientists to speculate about the mysteries beyond their understanding. The laws of physics were incomplete, offering only a fragmented understanding of our home. However, the creation of the LHC brought about a paradigm shift. It lifted the veil of uncertainty and ushered in a new era of discovery and comprehension. Everything changed and the world would never be the same again. And in the vastness of the universe, the forces that shape our world remain enigmatic. Gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force govern our known world. Yet whispers from the cosmos suggest the existence of a hidden fifth force, potentially linked to extra dimensions. The search for answers lies in the elusive Higgs boson, a beacon of hope and a gateway to uncovering these secrets. However, with great power comes great risk, and concerns loom over potential catastrophic events that the LHC may unleash. Ironically, the very device that helps us comprehend the universe has also fueled conspiracy theories and fears of our destruction. Some believe the LHC is a secret gateway to the underworld, capable of unleashing demons and monstrous creatures into our realm. Others claim it is a powerful weapon capable of annihilating the planet with a mere flip of a switch. There are those who perceive the LHC as a tool for mind control and transforming humanity into mindless beings. And some sinister notions propose that the particle collisions at the LHC are part of a clandestine government experiment to establish a new world order where only a privileged few would survive. This apocalyptic theory revolves around the concept of a false vacuum a hypothetical state of space where the energy is not at its lowest level. According to this theory, if the LHC were to create a false vacuum, it could trigger a chain of catastrophic events that would ultimately lead to the destruction of everything we hold dear. While this doomsday scenario may sound far-fetched, it is a genuine concern for some experts. The experiments conducted at the LHC have the potential to create the conditions necessary for a false vacuum to form. This could result in the production of black holes capable of engulfing entire galaxies. The risks associated with a false vacuum are so profound that they could upend our understanding of the universe. It's akin to Thanos' snap in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, except instead of wiping out half of all life, it would lead to the complete collapse of the universe into nothingness. While the creation of black holes in the LHC is considered unlikely, the consequence of a false vacuum are so severe that they cannot be dismissed. However, you might wonder why such an event hasn't occurred already. The answer lies in the Higgs field, a fundamental aspect related to the concept of a false vacuum. The Higgs field would need to overcome an immense energy barrier through a process called quantum tunneling to transition to the lower energy state known as the true vacuum. This barrier is so colossal that it would likely take an astronomical amount of time, far exceeding the age of the universe, for such a transition to occur. In other words, while the collapse of the universe is a theoretical concern, it is not an immediate worry. Now, let's explore the perspective of physicist Michio Kaku on this matter. In 1910, the media accurately reported an extraordinary event. Earth was on course to pass through the tail of Halley's Comet, 
The media also noted that the comet's tail contained poisonous gases. This announcement sparked a wave of mass hysteria that gripped the public. Overnight, self-proclaimed prophets emerged on street corners, warning of an impending doomsday. People frantically purchased gas masks and homemade remedies to protect themselves from the alleged poison gas. Wild rumors circulated, exacerbating the panic among the populace. However, what the media failed to report was the whole truth. The tail of Halley's Comet was far less dense than the finest vacuum on Earth, and all the debris and gas within the tail could likely fit into something as small as a suitcase. Consequently, when the Earth finally passed through the comet's tail, nothing significant happened. Now, according to physicist Michio Kaku, the media is accurately reporting that some physicists, including himself, believe that the Large Hadron Collider has the potential to generate mini black holes during its collisions. These black holes are incredibly powerful and could theoretically engulf not only Earth, but even entire star systems. The media is also correct in stating that physicists cannot completely dismiss the possibility of being consumed by these mini black holes created by the LHC. Kaku points out that these headlines may attract attention and sell newspapers, but the media conveniently overlooks or excludes the complete picture. Firstly, he explains that nature itself can produce subatomic particles with higher energies than the LHC through cosmic rays. These high-energy particles, accelerated to astronomical levels by intense magnetic and electric fields in space, have been bombarding Earth for billions of years, yet our planet has not been devoured by them. Secondly, Kaku emphasizes that these mini black holes are not ordinary black holes. They are actually subatomic in size, comparable to electrons or protons. The total energy generated by these particles would not even be sufficient to power a light bulb over a century of LHC operation. Although the subatomic particles produced by the LHC can possess trillions of electron volts, the LHC's anticipated rate of creating mini black holes is only about one per second, which is far too insignificant to pose any significant danger to anyone. Now, let's turn our attention to another intriguing and mysterious topic. Scientists at the Large Hadron Collider are continuously puzzled by a cosmic enigma, the composition of the universe. What we perceive, the stars, galaxies and planets, only represents a small fraction of what truly exists. Surprisingly, the matter we are familiar with, which forms everything we can observe and interact with, constitutes merely 5% of the universe. The remaining 95% is comprised of an elusive substance known as dark matter. Dark matter behaves like a phantom, an unseen force that pervades the universe. Its elusive nature stems from its lack of interaction with the electromagnetic force, rendering it incapable of absorbing, reflecting or emitting light. However, it exerts a significant gravitational influence on visible matter, playing a crucial role in the cohesion and motion of galaxies. But what exactly is dark matter composed of? One theory proposes that it may consist of supersymmetric particles, hypothetical counterparts to the particles found in the standard model of physics. Detecting these particles is challenging, but experiments conducted at the LHC hold the potential to shed light on their existence. Numerous hypotheses suggest that dark matter particles could be generated during collisions at the LHC, escaping undetected by the particle detectors. The stakes are high and the potential dangers are real. As the LHC smashes particles together at incredible speeds, there exists a genuine possibility of dark matter particles being unleashed into our world, potentially leading to unimaginable devastation. The mere contemplation of these invisible, spectral particles wreaking havoc in our reality is enough to send shivers down one's spine. In addition to the enigma of dark matter, there is another puzzling aspect, the matter-antimatter imbalance. According to the environment that produced the particles constituting the known universe, matter and antimatter should have been created in equal amounts. Surprisingly, antimatter is exceedingly rare, and the absence of a perfect balance should have resulted in a cataclysmic release of energy, leaving behind an empty and desolate cosmos. Yet, here we are. 
Scientists in the BASE collaboration at CERN have been investigating this matter-antimatter asymmetry. One theory proposes that matter and antimatter possess fundamental differences. However, the latest experiment conducted at CERN does not support this notion. According to the standard model of physics, which provides a comprehensive understanding of known particles and their behavior, each type of atom has its antimatter counterpart with the same mass but opposite electrical charge. In the recent study, scientists in the BASE collaboration at CERN meticulously examined the magnetic properties of protons and antiprotons. Encouragingly, the findings aligned with the predictions of the standard model, as the particles behaved exactly as expected. However, amidst all this, there is a fervor surrounding the latest groundbreaking discovery from the Large Hadron Collider. With its unparalleled energy levels and unprecedented particle beam launches, this colossal and powerful accelerator has once again unraveled the enigmatic secrets of the universe. The field of particle physics finds itself in a state of upheaval as a previously unseen type of pentaquark comprising five quarks has come to light. But the surprises do not end there. A novel type of tetraquark consisting of four quarks has also emerged. As if these revelations were not astounding enough, a fresh pair of hadrons has been detected, revealing a realm of subatomic particles that were once unimaginable. This recent breakthrough marks a historic milestone, as it represents the first ever identification of a pentaquark featuring a strange quark. Just a few years ago, such a finding was deemed impossible. The significance of this discovery is truly remarkable, with a statistical weight of 15 standard deviations, surpassing the five standard deviations typically required to establish the observation of a particle in the realm of particle physics. This remarkable achievement not only defies the odds, but also solidifies the existence of this long sought after particle with absolute certainty. It serves as a testament to the brilliance, perseverance and resourcefulness of the exceptional scientists and engineers at the helm of the Large Hadron Collider. While the discovery of these new particles stands as a monumental scientific feat, it simultaneously raises spine-chilling questions about our understanding of the universe. The realization that numerous unknown particles and states of matter still lie hidden in the depths of space prompts us to contemplate what other mysteries await us. Share your thoughts in the comments below.